Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwame Yasha Allah, Kohaloyamla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah HaKadash, that were honest to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akhwat that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahshanan Awak, just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, this is the, the Hebrews to Negroes book, um, Wake Up America. This is like the contra this is volume one of it, a controversial book that um uh Kyrie Irvin, you know, mentioned that kind of had, you know, uh, you know, the the world in an uproar, so to speak, amongst these these small hats. And um, you know, they kind of, you know, simmered his ass down and basically <laughs> they got his ass uh uh running around out here like he's a damn Muslim now or something. But anyway, this is the book, right? So I had left a comment in the elders, um, because he he went off into um, you know, this guy. Here's the uh you can see his name right here, Robert, um, I mean Slakia, Ronald Dalton Jr., right? So, you know, I left in the comment board of his comments, like I got this book. And I never, you know, I never read the book, but I was, it was given to me by a guy that I work with. And, you know, I've told the story before, but I just wanted to like, you know, reiterate, you know what I'm saying? Because the comment that basically I left, I wanted to like illustrate, because this guy that gave me this book, he knows that he's a Hebrew Israelite, but he actually went and rolled his sleeve up. Not only did he roll up his sleeve once, he rolled up his sleeve and took all those, those boost mobiles too, if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm thinking like, you know, like, you know, you know, you're an Israelite. You obviously have to know because you, you know, you gave me this book, you know. And so it was just in like my work vehicle for quite some time. I ended up taking it out, you know, because, uh, you know, Edomites be, uh, you know, riding with me sometimes. So I was like, you know, well, let me get this out of here. I don't want them to know what I'm into, you know. But um, yeah, this guy, man, he didn't work there too long. But it was right when, you know, the COV19 jumped off. And this guy, he really literally took all those shots on purpose. Like he was happy to go and do it. And the main reason why he wanted to do it was he just kept explaining. You know, he was like a simp. He kept explaining to me he got to take care of his woman. And so, so it dawned on me that, like, you know, like it's going to be a lot of people out here that know that they're Israelites that's going to go and take this, this mark of the beauty and the beast. They're going to take that shit, even though they know that they're Israelites, all for the sake of their woman, their children. You know, all these different people in their lives that they love so much. But, hey, man, you got to put all that shit to the side, man. We, we're coming to because if you take this, this beauty, this mark of the beauty and the beast, your ass is going to get you're going to be destroyed. There's no way around it. So when I seen the elder doing the video that he was doing, I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can find it because I never knew where, I, you know, I kind of tucked it somewhere. It took me a minute, but I actually found it. And, you know, because, you know. And then, I, you know, I, I noticed that this is by the spirit, too. I noticed that he had this highlighted right here in the book. So I know he read it. He, he had to had to read it because he, he he actually highlighted it. And he it's this part right here. It says, um, you know, they got the um, today house Negro. But where he starts to highlight it, at, it says. The, the American Negro, it says he is essentially the asleep Negro. He believes all of our food is healthy he believes every vaccine known to man is good for him and his and his seed so i'm looking at that like okay well if you highlighted this and you know that you know pretty much you know that they're basically clowning your ass about you know how you really believe in esau or the so-called white man in his system you you highlighted this but you still went and took this man's shit but i just remember him talking about how he had two jobs he was looking for a third one you know to take care of his woman and i was like oh man you know but when he gave me this book it reminded me of his hands and his arms his forearms they had like these really big dark black pussy looking i'm looking like nah man i ain't you know like put it down man i'm you know because you know i was shook you know what i'm saying his arm i don't know if it was from him taking a shot but his arms and his hands was messed up. It was like, you know, 40, 50. I'm telling his whole arms and hands was covered with it. And I never seen no shit like that before. And I'm like, man, is this shit contagious? <laughs> nah, bro, you know what I'm saying? I said, nah, you know, I kind of played it off. Like, y'all just sit it right there. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why he gave me this book, because he, you know, he was riding with me. 
you know, you know, because, you know, we kind of have a job where we kind of be on the road quite a bit. And, you know, we didn't talk. We had a couple of conversations. And what he said to me was, he said, I noticed that you don't listen to music when we're driving. I said, I, I noticed that you only listen to the news on the radio and stuff. And, you know, and we kicking it. And, and he like, you know, I got something for you. I'm going to bring it to you tomorrow. And then that's when he brought me this book. And I'm looking like, oh, OK, because I never told I never told him that. You know what I'm saying? I know about, you know, you know, Hebrew Israelites and this, 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 this and this. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I never told him that it was just from, you know, I guess, uh, you know, the conversations, you know, and just listening to the radio and certain news and stuff. He might comment on something. I might comment on it. But that's the reason why he brought me the book. So I would had the book ever since then. So I would had this book since the beginning of the COV-19 and I just never read it. But I thumbed through it and just so happened I thumbed through to this part right here and I'm like, OK, so he actually has this highlighted and he went out and took that shit. But also too, something else that I wanted to point out is right here. Let me go right. See right here. This is the name that this guy. This Dalton Jr. guy is using. He's using Yahusha and Yeshua, which we know that those are not the names of the Lord. We know that the name of the Lord is Yahweh. That, or the father his name is Yahweh which means that he exists or the existing one and the true name of the son is not this Yahusha or Yeshua it is Yahweh Shai which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the paleo Hebrew so when I got this book I didn't read through it because you know pretty much overall we come out of that overall this scripture popped into mind you know what I'm saying um, where it talks about the making of many books and this is why it's so important that you um you you young brothers, man, that's coming into this truth, just chill on the books, man. Just get into the scriptures. Just get into the scriptures, man. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, it says, and further, by these, my son, be admonished of, of making of making many books, there is no end. And much study is a is a weariness of the flesh. And you only need the scriptures, man. Just, you know, especially if you're new to this truth. A lot of our people get caught up, they get off into this book of Enoch shit. They get caught up in that book of Jasper bullshit. They get caught up in these different book of Adam, book of, you know, all these different books. And they don't understand that those books have, you know, these 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 books have nothing to do with the scriptures, basically. Now, there are, you know, books that are out here that's by those names. But those original, you know, um, books are not the original originals. We don't have no copies of those. These books that you're you're seeing titled Book of Enoch and Book of Jasper and Book of This and Book of That, these are, are, are you know, pretty much just, you know, for lack of better terms, entertainment type books. These are not, they, those books are not biblical, you know, because you can read in there and you can see some of the silly shit that's being said in these books. Like, hold on, like, come on, bro. Shit all fantasy world. But anyway, you have to watch yourself when you're, you you know, and, and keep away from all these different books, man. It's not, especially if you don't know the Bible. You don't, you don't have the milk of the scriptures. Why the hell would you be reading these other books? And that's what bug a lot of our people out, man. So you have to watch that, you know. But when I seen this highlighted in this book, though, like this dude, you know. But I, I kind of knew, like, you know, I just knew just from kicking it with him. And I never even asked him, like, well, okay, well, you, if you know you're a Hebrew Israelite, why would you go and take and then and, and from there it was just kind of like i only worked with him you know just maybe about two months and he was gone and i don't know if that guy he could be deleted right now because i'm telling you man whatever that was on his arms and his and his hands i never seen anything like that before you know what i'm saying and i didn't you know get off into asking him like well you know what's wrong with you what, what is that you know what i'm saying i just kind of like you know start to stay away from his ass but he gave me this book man but I wanted to also get this, this revelation, um, you know, just going off into this market of beauty and the beast, because this is what it's all coming up, you know, coming, coming around to. That's pretty much what I was kind of trying to say in the comment um, board of um, the elders comment when I left that comment for the elder, because I was kind of jokingly like, hey, you can have this book if you want it. But, but you know what, though, I will say it's some pretty decent, you know, um, history in here. He he he. He's got some history in here. He's got a couple of things in here that, you know, that's, you know, that's OK, you know, but you still have to filter through it. But I don't need to read through it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we got the we got the elders, man. We got the elders. We got the, the apostles, you know, teaching us, you know what I'm saying? Um, our history. All you got to do is just kick back and listen. You newcomers, just kick back and listen. Take notes. Kick back. Listen to the lessons, man.
And, and you should be also, um, you know, um, subscribe to all the apostles, man. Subscribe to the, the elders, man. Especially, you know, the newer brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, them, hey, them, them men have a lot of wisdom. That's where, you know, hey, come on. Why, why would you not have the apostles' um, um, channels? Why would you not have the apostles' ch channels, man, or the bishops' or the elders' channels, man, and listening to their lessons? I mean, there's other brothers that, you know what I'm saying, that put out, you know, great content as well, you know what I'm saying, where we can learn. But you should still have the apostles' um, um, channels, man, they, um, you know, get, get your, you know, your learning from, because they go into a lot of stuff. Anyway, Revelation 13 and 16, so, you know, because this guy was so infatuated with taking care of his woman and going out here and getting all these jobs... And he, he literally went on his own, like, man, I got to take care of my woman. No. He went and took them shots, man. And I don't know. I think them, man, them shots kind of had him messed up. And also the other people that um, I was just at the plantation today, you know, I kind of had to help them out. You know. And I really don't like being around them, man. I don't, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the damn she the mic, she in the back seat, fucking sneezing and shit. But they've been messed up, too, since they, because they, they took it, too. They took them shots. So when they was looking at me, they was like, well, oh, you didn't take it? I'm like, nah, I didn't take it. I said, I put in for a religious, um, you know what I'm saying, exemption, pray to the, you know, I didn't tell them that I prayed to the Lord. I just told them, hey, I put it in for a religious exemption and, and it went through, <laughs> you know, and I'm the only person at that job, man, that didn't go and um, take that shit as far as I know. Because I was getting ready to leave. It didn't make me no difference. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to let these people put shit in me. Hey, you know, I prayed to the Lord. I filled out the information that they wanted me to fill out as far as like the request for the religious exemption. About a week later, they told me, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you, you're fine. You're, you're, you're you know, hey, it went through just fine. You're, you're cool to work. <laughs> and, and I, and, and crazy thing is I never even, you know, got sick or any of that shit. I worked through that whole thing. And now what I'm noticing is the people that's around me and I've been, um, you know, I mentioned before too. That when I go into the cafeteria, you know, we got a cafeteria in the, in the plantation where, you know, you'll see these, you know, these postings on the wall of somebody them, you know, them passed away. And there's been a lot of them lately. And I never remember it, it being like that before all that shit went down. Never seen nothing like that before. Now, all of a sudden, it's every other week, you know, <laughs> somebody is out of here, man. But anyway, let me get this, though, because it, it just dawned on me. If this guy, he know he's a Hebrew Israelite and he would go and do that. For his woman, he's going to take that. He's going to take that goddamn chip, bro. Revelation 13 to 16, it says, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And again, a lot of Jake went out here, man, and they really took that shit to keep these jobs, bro. I remember it. So, well, what am I going to do? I ain't got no choice. I got to, you know. And see, that's what's going to get a lot of our people, man. See, you Israelites, man, look, you, you need to be trusting in Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. It's, it's a lot of scriptures. That's on, hey, read through the book of Psalms. You're going to see a whole gang of scriptures of, 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 of talking about trusting in Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. Trusting in him for everything that you need. Trusting in him. You know, putting your, um, you know, not your uh, your faith in men, man. Going not down to Egypt. Because, cause see, our people, man, they look at the so-called white man like he's the savior. And matter of fact, when I was reading what this guy had highlighted, all this shit is, 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 is you know, is real. Now, let me read through it. It says he essentially is, this is talking about your house Negro, so to speak. It says he is essentially the asleep Negro. He believes all our food is healthy. He believes every vaccine known to mankind is good for him and his seed. He believes that the United States presidents all have his best interests. He believes that he will work on his job without any problems until he retires. He believes the stock market and the dollar bill will never crash. He believes housing market is going to get better. He believes the unemployment rate is lowering. He believes the economy is better now than it was years before. He believes that he believes that blacks are getting an education and are able to get good jobs. He believes that for the most part, blacks are satisfied and they have a better life now since integration of the races. He believes having debt, bills and payment plans is OK as long as you get what you want in life. 
He believes paying interest is just an American way. He believes homosexuality is just something we have to accept at some point. He believes that there is no black and white and doesn't see color. And that's true. All these things are true. <laughs> it says he believes that the Bible is all white. He believes that the God, the angels, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the Israelites. And see, they have Jesus, Ye Yahusha, and Yeshua. See, th these are the names that this man is using. So that's why we know that he's going off in his book. It says um, that they know that all they are all white and that blacks are Gentiles, Hamites. He believes that color doesn't matter in the black in the Bible, but argues and discredits any notion that the Bible could be about black people. He believes, see, and that's true. He believes in his mind that he is free. So that is true. Other than, you know, this guy with these names that he's using again, because, you know, the Lord's name is not no Yahusha or no Yeshua, man. So when a lot of people checked into this book, because his book sales went through the roof. Like for real, he he made a lot of money, man. Once Kyrie mentioned or quoted that, because it you know it was a tailspin. Everybody was out here like, uh, but it you know now guess what it done? It woke up a lot of so called blacks to you know knowing that they were Israelites. But guess what names they're calling on? This Yahusha and Yeshua. That's why you see a lot of these these people in the comments and stuff like that. Those are the names that they be using. I've done a video on TikTok. You know, and how these people be on TikTok. It's some people, it's, it's people on there. They know that they're Israelites. They be calling on Yah. They won't say Yahweh. They'll say Yah. You know what I'm saying? And then they using these names, man. Yahusha and Yeshua. Those are not the names of the father and the son, man. And those names are very, very important to know. You have to know the true names of the father and son. And see, Esau, he doesn't care. If you call on these, these, these names, this Yahusha and Yeshua, he don't give a shit about you knowing about you an Israelite. Is if you call on those names, what he cares about is if he knows that you're if you know that you're an Israelite and you're calling on the real names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Because they understand, oh, okay, now that now they're they're going too far. Now they're they're really dealing with their power. But I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. I seen that. And this was one of the things that he had. He had a few more things highlighted in here. But this was like, you know, one of the main things that I've seen. Um, you know, but like I said, again, this book, it's got some, he, you know, it's pretty much copy and paste type of history. You know, it's not like this guy. I don't think he really super duper done no research. Well, he had to do some research, but a lot of this stuff is just typical stuff that the apostles talk about anyway. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, just general things about our history, so to speak, you know, so. Like I said, again, I just wanted to just touch on that. But, hey, the, let me get um chapter 14 as well, because, you know, what I left in the comment also with the elder, you know, I was kind of playing. But, you know, this. I quoted um, um, instead of Revelation 16, because that's what his arms and his hands kind of reminded me of. The scripture came to mind when I seen that shit like, Ugh, nigga, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Revelation 16 and 2, it says, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. You know, I wasn't saying that, you know, that because none of us was teaching that the actual shot was the mark of the beast, because you did have some brothers mentioning that shit. But no, that, you know, that shot, that was a, a precursor to basically, you know, them getting data on who's going to be Who's going to comply and who's not going to comply? And pretty much you've seen half the country went out and, and, and they got that shit. And the other half was like, I'm not getting it. So you had that division that split down the middle. You know what I'm saying? As far as these Americans and just people in general all over the world. Now, all of a sudden, they come out coming out with this information as to, you know, OK, everything we was telling you is not true. And guess how many channels we lost? Man, I lost like 10. Man, I lost. A little over 10 channels, I think, you know, they, you know, from them talking about misinformation and this, this, this and this, you know, weren't even talking about it like that. All you had to do was mention it at the time and they was clipping all that shit. Now, all of a sudden, you know, everything that, you know, um, they're telling you all about how, uh, well, everything we said wasn't true. See, I guess it didn't sell like how they wanted it to sell. But man, hey, them pharmaceutical companies, man, they got paid, man, off that shit, man. But they didn't make what I guess they thought they was going to make because I guess they was assuming that, OK, we're going to scare everybody. Just think if everybody took that shit, man, that was like trillions, trillions of dollars, man, would have been made, you know. But 
them, it just reminded me with this guy's hands and his arms like, damn, bro, is, is that from that? Because I never seen, I can't even, man, I can't even describe it, man. Like his whole arms, it's just ugh, nasty, you know, pussy looking black marks all over. She's like, ugh, what's wrong with you, bro? Now get back. I don't want you around me, but <laughs> let me get this one, though. Because this is what's going to happen if you do. And he was just one of those people. I'm like, yep, he's going to take that shit. He's going to take that mark of the beauty and the beast. As soon as they roll around with it, because he ran out and got that too quick. He didn't even, it didn't, it, it didn't take them, no, he didn't even try and find no information. He went straight to take it. He's like, man, I'm going to go ahead and do this shit now. So I got to take care of my woman. <laughs> he didn't try and do nothing else. He didn't, he didn't ask no questions. He didn't do no research. He went, he, he, matter of fact, he made the appointment. He was probably one of the very first persons in line, man, to get that shit. Anyway, Revelation 14 and 9. And it's entitled Doom for Worshippers of the Beast. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. See, hey, you're going to be through. And there ain't going to be no coming back from it. You know, they got these movies and shit where people find out at the end and then they cut the chip out of their hand. You know, nah, that ain't going to work out, man. If you take that shit, you're going to be through. <laughs> you could forget about it. But, you know, it was just something that I, you know, that was just on my spirit to do. Because, you know, you know, it just dawned on me like, you know what, shit, I left that comment. Let me just do a lesson on it. Let me do a video on it. You know, because you're going to have to be ready to hunker down, man. It's, we're about to go into a time period where... You're, you're going to have to have full-fledged faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Full-fledged faith, man. Because there's going to come a point where you're not going to be going to no jobs. Especially if you, um, you know, you're not, well, if you're not taking this, that, that thing thing, you, you shouldn't be taking it, you know. And if you don't take it, of course, they're not going to let you move about in society like that. Is the point that I'm trying to make. So you're, that's when you're going to have to fall back on Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. I mean, we fall back on him now anyway. We know that he's the one that's taking care of us and looking out for us, you know, and our needs every day. But there's going to come a point where, you know, you're not going to be able to get up and go to work, man, because Esau, he's going to be like, look, you don't take this this chip. Same way he, 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 you know, he told you if you didn't put your mask on, you're not you can't come in here. You can't do business at the bank. You can't come into the supermarkets. You can't go, you know, go into the post office. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't walk into the gas station. You got to be six feet away from everybody. See, that was a precursor to what's to come. So ain't no telling what this man going to turn up like because he already he got the data. He knows that half the country didn't, didn't want nothing to do with that shit. So. Hey, just, you know, just be prepared, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, again, you know, it just dawned on me when I, you know, I thought about that book because the brother, you know, like I said, the elder, he done a video on this guy. Ronald Dalton Jr. And he been, you know, out here doing little interviews and, you know, you know, just false doctrine type shit. Like I said, you know, you got to really be careful with some of these people, man. You know, they may sound like they're educated. They're giving you all this history, you know, and they, you know, talking all elegant and shit. And in the meanwhile, he got these people out here calling on the wrong names. That's going to get you right there in itself. <laughs> calling on the wrong names, man. You have to really call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh's side. It's very, very important. We can't stress that enough, man. For real, for real, man. So, you know, like I said again, hey, I just wanted to just chop something up on this real fast, you know, get some edification. And 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 hey man, we're getting to that point. Shit turning up real fast out here. You know, man, they can do this, they can have this, that shit implemented, man, within this year. So they just be, you know, you know, walk circumspectly from what the scripture says. The scripture says to watch and pray to, um, you know, measure all the times diligently, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.